Hi, welcome to Mystery Mike. We're going to go shed hunting. Now, I know it's, uh, well, I guess you can't say it's late or early, but um, I like to go shed hunting like the end of February into March, end of March. Uh, this is the beginning of uh, April, April 11th. I mean, you know, the later you go, I think it becomes harder because the rabbits and squirrels get them. But um, we did go earlier and we didn't have any luck. But uh, we're going back again and we're going to check out some more spots and see if we can find any sheds, me and my son. So I would like you all to come along and do some shed hunting with us. Look at that little pretty calf there. We had three uh, calves just a couple days old and that's one of them. Look at that thing. Nothing more precious than a newborn calf. Oh, the cattle really look pretty on this nice green grass. This is really a nice pretty stream. Looks so pretty with the skunk cabbage coming up around it. Well, you can tell springs here when that's up. I was told by an older gentleman He's passed away now, God rest his soul, that before the dam was put up on the Susquehanna, shad used to come up in this stream right up through here. Well, that's really something. This tree here is really, really a nice tree. It's probably about 40 inches. It's really a nice, pretty, straight red oak. I guess it's doing so good because it's getting all the water it needs right from the stream there. There's the buds that fell off the top of the tree there. All right, let's head on up in here, see if we can find any sheds. I mean, you could find sheds anywhere through here because all through here is nothing but deer trails. So come on, let's see what we can do. And really keep your eyes open. There's a little skull or something right there. see something right there. Wait, I think that's a bone. Let me go check that out. Oh, little frog. There he goes. Sam, right? Watch. Keep looking. Keep looking. He's going to jump. Watch, watch. There he is, Sam. Let's see. Keep going closer until he jumps. There he goes. <laughs> It's a, a bone right there. Look how that rock's growing. Or I should say, look how that tree's growing around that rock there. Boy, that skunk cabbage is really doing good. Well, it looks pretty. We've been having some rain. It's been uh, a tad dry, but we've been getting some rain here in the last day or two. And we need it, we need it. This is spring. Springtime needs a lot of rain. It goes a long ways. You can see the deer trail right here. Comes up into the field, back over in here. This will go trail right through here.
just never know when you're going to find them. You know, I did find one one time when I started hunting in the fall, but it was all chewed up on. But it's still neat. I got it. I kept it. Look how the deer was rubbing up on that. That's an old, old buck rub out. Yep, furs, that's old, old rub there. You can see these sticker bushes are all nipped off the top. Deer eating them. You can see, look, new growths coming out. That's something else there. But you can see how all the tops are nipped off. I'm not sure, but the bud that grows out has like whiskers, and I think they call them cat whiskers. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, the deer love them. I wanna go up over in that area behind my son's deer stand, because a lot of times deer will go over there, and we didn't check that out this year for sheds, so we'll go try that. There's some deer droppings there. You can see the deer, how they go over this, because I think that's some hair I've just seen in here, and you can see how they chip that off, their hoof hits it as they go over. And you can see the tracks going up in here. I don't know what kind of tree this is here, but Oh man, I wish I knew. But anyway, the leaves are really coming out on it nice. More so than any other trees around. Alright, let's go up through here. More droppings right in front of my foot. There are so many trails here intertwining. You can find sheds anywhere you can see how the deer go right through here anytime you see a trail you know it's good to follow or to look for sheds and and they hide in all these thickets up in here you can see how it goes through there really nice. But uh, I haven't been back up in here. And a lot of deer go up behind my son. And we think it would be a hot spot perhaps to find some sheds. See, that field there will have either soybean or corn in it. And over there, the same thing. And the deer can run to either side, get all the food they want, all the browse they want. They're fed well. We bed down in here. Here's my son one over there. Look at that big old tree. There's a deer track there. I figured we would have bounced some deer up by now. But if we go up over on the top there, we would. Oh, there's some pretty trees. There's a little buck rub there. Boy, there's some pretty trees. Wow. Man. I love those trees. Whew, man. Every big old tree like that would have even more roots holding it.
That's neat. There's Anthony on over there. It's a good spot. Take a look at this nice trail. That's really beat down. Wow. I'm going to follow right on over across the stream. Get to see another frog jump in. This trail is really used heavily. My son's going to check that trail out, and I'm going to check this trail out. Here's some small droppings there. Looks like a little one. Here's some more buck rub air. Some more rub air. More rub air. I just found this crossbow bolt. It's not mine. It's not Dad's. The tip broke off. Someone. Someone wasn't having a very good day. Be that the deer or the hunter. What are the broad the broadheads here or not? I don't know, we'll see. Do you see what I see? A ball. Fox must be playing with it. It's like a tennis ball. Check this out. Old glass bottle. Look what that says. Oh man, I'm not even filming it. Coke. That thing's intact, too. Look at that right on top. See that Coca Cola? Cool. There's a little skull, maybe like a groundhog or something. Or, well, I don't know if that'd be a fawn. I don't know. But a little tiny skull. I was just walking over here by this tree looking for sheds and I saw this and I thought it was maybe like a I don't know a piece of trash I flipped it over it's a turtle shell poor little guy probably a little box turtle it's kind of neat though that's one of our deer stands over here to the left right there look at that little baby coming right over to my son how cute is that Look, they're all getting curious. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Usually when you crouch down like that, they get real curious and come over. We didn't find any sheds today, but yesterday, was it yesterday, Anthony? Mm -hmm. That uh, he was walking, checking the fence line, and he said the sun was shining on these horns. It was sitting just like that. And it was sitting just like that. And uh, who knows what happened to this deer. You know, the whole body was there. It was all rotted. And... It was sitting just like that. That's, that's pretty neat. We did not find any sheds today, but that's a neat find that he found yesterday. And it's really neat how the sun was shining on it and he's seen it so far away. Well, we sure did find a good time and I hope you all enjoy this tape. Just remember, be someone important. Be yourself. Till next time, God bless. See ya.